Hi everybody, this is your friend as always, Diabetes, and uh, I'd like to welcome you back to a new Let's Play by me. Let's play Monster Girl Quest. Now, after my Corruption of Champions video, which was a lot more popular than I was expecting, I got a huge outpour of fan support asking me to Let's Play this game, so I decided to do it. Now, what you just saw was the, just like, the intro when you start the game. Uh, when we start the game, uh... There will be another cutscene explaining the plot, and uh, from there we will see the full game. So, let's get started. Start! It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing. The great monster slayer. My father. He doesn't take cases anymore. But I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural, and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control, and then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katarina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good. It comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learned to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the crack and the pirates and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. I had time to ponder my mission. Once, Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. As our carriage approached the mountain pass, I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has just begun. And welcome back. Now, we've just started the game, so let's get a look at who our hero or heroes will be. Katarina, shouldn't you help me out with this? Please, we are just some ragged outlaws. Yeah, so, we've just been introduced to our hero. I'll get into them in a second, uh, but for now, let's just get acquainted to the game. This is Monster Girl Quest. It's an action RPG for the PC. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit high, or not high-end, but it uses online, so my crappy internet doesn't know how to handle it, so I apologize if it doesn't look the best. Uh, so currently, we're being attacked by monster girls, bandits, something like that, and we're, uh just taking them down, uh, got some sweet loot, and, yep, we gotta equip it, this game is very loot-driven, 
how you will hunt your monster girls is based on two different play styles, melee or ranged. Um, I'm just circling back to see if I missed anything, which I did, but... Uh, and now I'm just going to heal ourselves because we took some damage from that fight. And before we move on, I'd like to introduce our hero and our heroine. So let's take a quick look at... And here we have our two heroes that uh, you may have heard the names mentioned. This is Alice and Luca. Luca is the main character who we'll be playing as. He is the hero of his village and a knight in training, blessed by the gods. Whereas Alice is his female companion, a uh, monster, uh, apparently, and uh, his best friend, although she's a bit catty and treats him like shit, uh, they are working together. So let's get back to the game. Us. Alright, so, let's get moving. First thing we're gonna do is, uh, well, our objective of this first area is just to reach Luke, uh, Luca's home village, which is under attack, uh, as you can tell by the sheer amount of monsters outside the village right now. Um, well, we would have gotten there, but... That was stupid. I'm impressed, actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. We could still fly over the chasm. Unfortunately, those really? monsters are a lot more crafty right. than I guess we were originally guessing. But we can handle it. We're a knight, and we have our faithful companion Alice with us, so nothing too bad will happen to us. Alice is a bit of an enigma. She just sort of showed up and decided to help us, so we will see what she's up to later on in the story. For now, we can just assume that, despite her monstrous appearance, she is a friend. Leveled up. Alright. So we have four stats. Body, will, whatever. The only stat that's important is body. Raises our strength, how much melee damage we do. And then skill tree. We're going to go to the Mystic Warrior, because uh, cause melee is the best, be a holy knight. We're going to go for the electric skill. It's an AoE ability, which is really good for taking down huge hordes of enemies. Um, so yeah, there we go. That'll be on our right mouse button, whereas our normal attack would be on our left mouse button. <laughs> on the bottom, you can see our two different attacks, our standard melee attack and our lightning attack. Red bar is, uh, the red half of the orb is, uh, health, the blue half is mana, and the yellow is our rage. Rage I'll talk about in a second. As you can tell, that lightning attack drains our mana, but it regenerates a lot faster than our health. Ah, uh, so, even then, mana potions probably won't be a big deal. As you can also tell, uh, we can give equipment to Alice, if we are so inclined. I gave her a gun, uh, and you will see why in a second. Yes, we can change how she acts. She can either fight ranged, melee, or just stand there and be a ghost, which gives us some passive bonuses. And we just change her temperament. I want her to pick up some gold if she sees it, because, uh, why not? The thing up to the top is a shrine. Shrines are sort of like sh altars and Diablo and stuff. They give you uh, a certain bonus. I believe, like Diablo, the, the effect is consistent, so I think that one gave us some experience, uh, or a bonus to our experience. Uh, the first chapter of this game is pretty boring, what you'd expect, just hacking through hordes and hordes of wolf girls and the, the bandit monsters and stuff. Uh, we'll see a couple of new enemies later on, but for now it's sort of just the same old, same old. <coughs> Uh, you may have seen that I was picking up different pieces of loot, and as you'd expect, green numbers are good, red numbers are bad. The game has a bunch of different stats, uh, which I guess is to be expected. Things like health, armor, you know, mana, essence, which uh, essence is like for enchantment so that you can put on your equipment. That cloak I think we found has 15 essence, and that's its basic function. Uh, Alice is just taunting us. Alice and Luke have a very uh, interesting relationship in that she totally likes to hate on us and make fun of us, which is which is pretty fucking mean, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, um, 
just taking down a mini boss. Think of them as like named enemies in Diablo, things like that. They drop some loot, they give us uh, extra XP, and another thing is reputation, uh, which I will show off in just a second. Like some other Diablo likes, there you have a XP bar and you have a reputation bar, uh, which is raised by doing side quests and killing named enemies. Uh, <coughs> Right now, I'm just giving Alice a better gun. Come on, take it. Oh, it isn't better. Oops. Oh, well. She can just be like the dog from Torchlight and carry some of my extra shit. Now, how long is it going to take me to notice? There we go. So, reputation allows us to take a perk. Perks are just like a persistent bonus. Uh, things like you do more damage when you're berserk or your ghost is stronger. I'll spoil it now, I'm going to take the one that gives me an extra page of inventory because your inventory is incredibly small in this game, and I would like extra inventory. The other thing I'm going to do is raise uh, my body stat by a bunch. Uh, and I'm going to raise my lightning skill and take one of those things at the top. Earlier I had mentioned rage. That's what rage is for. Rage is for these things called power-ups. And you press a button that is the same as... See how there's three nodes? Whichever node you choose determines whether it'll be one, two, or three. So if I press one, I can charge at my lightning attack three times. Every charge means that it'll hit more dudes with that particular power-up. Rage is generated by attacking dudes or taking damage. Pretty simple. Uh, it gets more complex. In fact, it's one of those features where I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's easy to forget that you have it. And it gets even more complicated if you're cycling through, like, two or three different sets of, uh... Why would you need an inn? You're a ghost. So I'm supposed to spend the rest of my nights among the trees, like a peasant girl who got lost in the woods. I'd love the idea two or three different uh, sets of uh, abilities, so here we're coming up to, we're near the village and we're being assaulted by sirens, we're trying to bite our dick off or whatever, get a good look at them, I, I don't get it, why people are into that sort of thing, but whatever, and here we are Stop at Lucas right Village, there. I'll see you next time. Easy, we're friends here. They all say that, but I won't let in any dangerous fiends on my watch, no sir. How dare you? I'm going to tear you apart, and then I'll teach you some manners. No, I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here, but you, with the Van Helsing hat, we don't like your sword here, with your weapons and bad manners. I am a monster hunter. Of course you are, or you are just a troublemaker. Oh, you don't have to worry about my servant. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina. Fight you, my lady. You can pass, and your manservant too. We'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me.